What is going on, fight fans and full time family? Still got the Rona Blaster. <laughs> no, this is something that I do want to talk about, though. Ricardo Lamas recalls the notorious, glorious showdown with Max Holloway that is easily, by far, in my top three favorite fight moments of all time. Not even close. This one moment and this one round, these last three minutes, are what cemented Max Holloway as one of my favorite fighters of all time. Even if this motherfucker goes on to win belts and it was to sell out and all that shit, I know Max Holloway was a real one, is a real one. Same with Jorge Masvidal. Fucking real one. If they go on to get the money that they fucking deserve, do your thug fizzle. But I know real recognized real and motherfucking Ricardo Lamas versus Max Holloway was fucking insane. It just 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 for the fight fans that don't recall exactly what I'm talking about. At the end of the fight, Max Holloway was winning the fight. It was before he was still on I believe seven, eight fight winning streak, making that long Tony Ferguson S Herculean grind slash climb to the top to get his title shot because he didn't have politics on his side. He had to go the long way. He had to go the hard way. And it was a steep hill. But Max Holloway climbed and he ascended that motherfucking hill. And we know what happened in the future. We know he became one of the greatest featherweights of all time after he dismantled Jose Aldo twice and went up to fight at 155 and all these legendary things toward Max Holloway's legacy. We understand that. But this moment right here, Nick, this moment right here, Nick, Ricardo Lamas versus Max Holloway, round three or round five. I don't remember if it was a main event, if it was a five-round fight, but I know it was in the last round, though. And what happened was Max Holloway was up. I believe it was a five-round fight, but Max Holloway was winning the fight. If this fight would have went to the judges' scorecards, Max Holloway would have won. No questions. He was up a couple of rounds. But you know what he did? Even though he was on an eight-fight winning streak, even though he already had the win in the bag and he could have just fucking technical pointed his way to a win and continued his streak, oh, stay away, use his distance, oh, stay away, use his superior kickboxing and his range in that fight, he could have easily did just continued his win streak, played it safe. But Max Holloway pointed at the fucking ground. Like, let's throw down. You ready? And they just start fucking swinging it out for like the whole last fucking two minutes, just slugfest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? No, what? Oh shit, go! Oh, oh, he clipped him. Oh, let's get it. My mind is fucking blown because Max Holloway is up, and he ain't playing it safe. He pointed at the ground and said, "Let's throw down." He's the one in here risking it all for the motherfucking biscuit. Go watch Max Holloway vs. Ricardo Lamas. Do yourself a favor if you haven't seen it. Ricardo Lamas is recalling this showdown, and you see how excited and passionate I got about that fight. That's why I'm making this video, because this fight was fucking epic. You know what I'm saying? There ain't been a lot of news, and I've been real busy lately fighting the Rona out here, dodging the Rona. But this right here, this this got my blood boiling a little bit. I wanted to read this article. Let's see what Ricardo Lummis had to say about this glorious MMA moment. He said, we were kind of challenging each other. Now, I'm, I'm going to shut up till afterward. I'm going to shut up till afterward because I'm going to let you know this was a lot more Max Holloway than Ricardo Lummis. But Ricardo Lummis got to be a part of this moment. So we're going to go ahead and just let him talk. We were kind of challenging each other. I knew he wanted to, he was ahead on the scorecards, and if you rewatch that third round, I was going like this. Ricardo uh, Lama said he motions toward himself, telling him to bring it. Finally, in the last 10 seconds, he obliged, pointed to the ground, and we started throwing down. I knew I was down on the scorecard, so I was trying to make something happen, trying to make it scrappy, and that's what came out at the end, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, man, that sounds good. Of course, you know, there's three sides to every story, both sides, and then the truth. Max Holloway. Like, hey, he admitted Max Holloway was up on the scorecard. So it don't matter who you are. If you're Ricardo Lamas, if you're Darren Elkins, if you're fucking, who's a technical fight? If you're Wonder Boy, well, maybe not Wonder Boy, but if you're down on the scorecards, you want your opponent to get crazy. 
You want your opponent to give you the opportunity to counter strike you and, and win the fight because they already lost the rounds. Max Holloway didn't have to oblige. Of course, Ricardo Lamas had to wave him on. Come on, man. Do something stupid so I can win. I already lost. Come on. No, that was all Max Holloway, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, that shit was fire. And with that being said, man, I just wanted to relive that moment one time with the full-time family. So make sure you guys do me a favor. Hit the link in the Discord. Join the Hit the link in the description. Join the Discord. Chop it up with the full-time family. I've been busy, but we're over there holding it down. I'll tune in every now and then, pop in a line, and then I'm back to work. You know how it is, man. Also, I just bought a punching bag, a motherfucking speed bag off Craigslist. Real cheap. Motherfucker, I mean, Facebook. I got me a little exercise bike. Man, hey, y'all know your boy Big Full Time. I'm going to be little Full Time in a minute, y'all. Just, just fuck with your boy, man. I'm in a I'm in a moment of growth right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my funds up. I'm getting a reliable, another reliable vehicle so me and my wife both have our own car. We ain't got to do all this fucking driving around town in a fucking old 19 fucking 98 Volvo. No, I'm just playing. But you get the point, man. We're upgrading, getting a new... Fuck with your boy, man. Full-time 20. Full-time MMA 2020 and fucking forever on. It is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm fucking out!